Welcome to our tutorial on the spline command. Let's activate the sketch command. Now we'll activate the spline command. We're going to create a spline. To end the spline, press escape on your keyboard twice. The broader meaning of spline. It's a special function defined piecewise by polynomials. In CAD systems, the spline term refers to piecewise polynomials. In other words, parametric curves. The spline, as you see from our video course, is a very popular curve. The simplicity of its design, its ease and accuracy of evaluation, and its capacity to approximate complex shaves through curve fitting and interactive curve design. Another way to explain a spline, think of each of these segments as an expression of functions represented by these segments. These expressions share common parameters at these points. For example, tangency and curvature. After creating a spline, we're able to grab and reposition the individual points. We can also double click on it. The spline definition window opens. We're able to add more points in this window. Currently, point 1 is highlighted. With the Add Point After radial button selected, we simply click on the spline to add another point. We can also close the spline. We can remove points. And we can add tangency and reverse that tangent. We can also opt to adjust the curvature radius. You see that when I adjust the radius, the spline changes. And click OK when you're done. I can delete points from a spline simply by clicking on any point and pressing the delete key on my keyboard. I can also click on a point and a dialog window will open giving me the position of the point in both Cartesian and polar coordinates. Here I'm able to apply tangency and curvature radius options. Let's see what this looks like in the polar coordinate system. Cancel out of this for now. When I create a new spline, I have the option to close the spline by right-clicking at the end of the spline, select Close Spline. We can constrain the spline by fixing every point, for example, in two-dimensional space. OK. Fix. OK. Fix. OK. And last one. Now the spline is green and fully constrained. Let's shift select these four constraints. We'll right click and delete them. We can dimension the spline as well. Right click and select horizontal measure direction. And you can right click and select the vertical measure direction also. Let's right click, horizontal again. And right click, vertical again. Two more points. Horizontal. Vertical. And last point. Right click. Let's insert a coincidence. 
Now our spline is green and fully constrained. And this concludes our tutorial on the spline command.